You know, I actually saw a post on Twitter where they said, of course, Logan got nominated for an Academy Award and Wonder Woman didn't because that has a male lead. <laughs> oh, it's cute when they reach. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right. Uh, I've been meaning to do this video ever since they announced the the nominations for the Academy Awards and uh, talk about... Well, I mean, obviously I wanted to talk about it because uh, Wonder Woman didn't get nominated for anything. And some people are like, oh my God, she was snubbed. She was snubbed. And I'm like, I'm... <sighs> No. I was one of the people when they were saying that, oh yeah, Wonder Woman is going to push, you know, and try to get Wonder Woman nominated for Best Picture and Best Director. I was going, no, that's a little too much. I'm sorry. I mean, if it if it was cinematography and, you know, the technical stuff, yeah, I could see that a little bit more. But when it came to, like, Best Picture and stuff like that, I mean, even, like, costume design, makeup, and hair would have been, would have been okay. But, you know, because when it comes to visual effects, I wouldn't say that... It was definitely something that needed visual effects. I mean, if you look at the category, a lot of it's heavy, heavy visual effects. And the one that really deserves to win, it's either Blade Runner or War for the Planet of the Apes. That, sh that mocap, though, is just uncanny. So no, get over yourself. But I am happy that Logan got nominated for Best... Uh, which one was it? It was Adapted Screenplay. Of course, not original. Um, I'm really happy about that. I think that deserved more i think that deserved best pick best director mangold best leading actor jackman best supporting actress daphne and then patrick stewart as supporting actor i think it deserved that but you know it's a tough category especially for a cbm you can't you just it just doesn't happen but at least it got adapted screenplay that's something that's an achievement that i don't think any other cbm has ever had usually cbms are always like the uh are always the technical categories. But I will say this, okay? I don't think really anybody else was snubbed. I mean, granted, I didn't see all the movies out there last year, but Lego Batman! That one got snubbed for animated feature. Come on, boss baby, really? Freaking come on. I mean, obviously, we already know that Coco is gonna win, but Ferdinand? That movie, like, didn't do anything. I didn't hear good things about it, nothing. Loving Vincent? Didn't even hear that. The Breadwinner? I didn't hear about that one either. Lego Batman. Now, he was snubbed, okay? I will say that. But everything else, not so much. I mean, when it comes to Best Picture, uh, I actually just watched the post last night. Very slow burn, and then it gets really interesting at the end. I saw The Shape of Water, a fucking weird-ass movie, but I loved it. I thought it was great. Guillermo del Toro, man. That guy's just a powerhouse. Um, yeah, I mean, I think all the Best Picture noms are, are are interesting I, i'm gonna watch them all i always make sure i watch all the best picture noms i try to do that before watching uh, the academy awards when it comes to lead actor yeah a lot of people said that james franco got uh snubbed for disaster artist but you know honestly i mean i know a lot of people are saying that oh yeah you won the golden globe of course you can blah, 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 blah. oh yeah they're just doing that because of sexual harassment thing and that probably is the case but he wasn't gonna win but he, there's no fucking way he's going to win. Gary Oldman is cleaning house, okay? Uh, James Franco won for best comedy musical category, okay? So when it comes to dramatic stuff, Gary Oldman is just, he's just taking them all. So he's going to win. There's just no doubt about it. So, I mean, when it comes to lead actress, I'm, I'll probably do before, uh, before the, the, uh, the Academy Awards show up, I'll probably do like, uh, my choices who I think it's going to win and blah, blah, blah. After I watch all the movies, I mean, Meryl Streep is always like a front runner. Anytime she gets nominated, it's like, oh shit, she's going to get it. But probably Frances McDormand's going to get it because she's totally in there, but, uh, you know, she's been winning them all. Christopher Nolan, I'm going to do a video about, because a lot of people, you know, a lot of people I follow my timeline really, you know, we love Christopher Nolan. And it's awesome that he got his first nomination out of, look at his filmography. This is the first goddamn time he's got nominated for Academy Award. Seriously? My God! I mean, there's, uh, Dunkirk's really good, but he's got better movies out there. Uh, it's just really interesting. But I'm going to make a video of why he just doesn't stand a chance. He didn't stand a chance at all. You know, just the way things are, the little climate we're in right now. I, I, I'll get to it in another video. But, uh, yeah, guys, just wanted to touch bases on that. That was pretty much it. Uh, everything else. Pretty, Blade Runner, a lot of people are pissed off about that. I could see that because it's just, it's it's, it's such a great movie. I mean, it should have got nominated. Best Picture. Uh, I mean, at least it got cinematography because that cinematography is absolutely 
uh, fantastic. I mean, you, you, you can't, you can't, you can't say that cinematography was terrible. I mean, you know, Roger Deakins, who's just phenomenal with that camera. And then of course you got deny, uh, I can never say his last name, just to help him point that camera. It's pretty awesome stuff. So yeah. And then even Gosling's performance was great. Even Harrison Ford's. I mean, it, it was just an all around great movie. But I think Denai even said that uh, he thinks that because of the box office numbers, that's why it was snubbed uh, with the other categories, which that could be the case. But at least all the technical stuff is there, and I hope it does pull in some awards. So at least we have that, guys. Anyways, but I still think the big snub is goddamn Lego Batman. It's just not right. Ah, frustrates me. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about it down below. Who do you think got snubbed? Uh, you know, just name some names, whatever. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel, visit filmjunkie.com for all my content. And of course, visit the closet for shirts and stickers. All right, guys.